So Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Today I want to talk about Surah Al-Kahf and time and Quran and time. So Bismillah walhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala Sayyid al-Mursaleen Muhammadin al-Amin. Amma ba'd faqala azza wa jal ba'd a'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Wal-Asr. إن الإنسان لفي خسر وقال عز وجل والله أعلم بما لبثوا رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وأهل الأقدة من لسان يفكه قولي أمين يا رب Dear brothers and sisters We are so used to equating enjoyment with speed of time. So somebody's watching a movie, time goes very quickly. Somebody's reading a book, time goes very slowly. And as children, we begin to equate the two together. That if time is going quickly, that means it's good. And if time is going slowly, it means it's bad. And this problem is going to reach a hyper state in the future, especially with AI as it's coming out. But the problem is, <coughs> all the things that we do to make time go faster, by which we associate our happiness, are all those things that are actually meaningless in life. They're the believers, they stay away from vain talk and idle talk. They don't do things that don't are not benefiting them either in this world or the next world. They're always going to be in a state of something that is helping them either in this world or the next world or both. But we're so used to wanting the time to go fast because we equate time going fast with happiness. And as children, we equate time going slow with it's boring. And I wish I had time to talk about boring because boring is is very close to self-loathing yourself, disliking yourself. But I want to talk about another point. And that is that the things that are meaningful and precious in life are those things that actually slow down time. And those things that make life fruitless put you in a state of artificial happiness makes time go faster. Like watching a movie. This is why the Prophet ﷺ said, the hour will not come till the time becomes faster. One day, inshallah, we'll go into that narration. But today, what I want to express is that, that, that number one, as a child, when you're given computers, when you're given, you know, gadgets, you're learning two things come together. You're learning happiness and speed come together. And that if something now happens that is going slow, you equate that with being boring. And if you have a life of a person who spent his fleeting life doing all the fruitless things like watching Netflix. That's what it's called, right? Netflix or Netflix. You spend your whole time watching Hulu. Even if you had a hundred years, your time would just go like a flash of light. But a person who's lived only 30 years... But he was reading books. He was doing fruitful things. He was working hard. He was being a man to provide his family. He spent his time in ibadah. He spent his time reading Quran every day. What would happen to his time? His time, his internal clock, his experience of time would slow down. And the things that he did with his time would become meaningful purposeful. 
And so you have a man of 50 years who spent his life doing fruitless things with his time to always be in a state of, what's the next thing I can do to make time go faster? Oh, let me watch a movie. What's the next thing I can do to make time go faster? Oh, let me go to sleep. What's the next thing I can do to make time go faster? Let me eat. What's the next thing I can do to make time go faster? Let me drive faster. What's the next thing that I can do to make time go faster? And the minute something happens in traffic to slow you down, you are upset. You don't want to ride a horse because horses are too slow. You want to drive in a car and you want to go as fast as you could. could. Your internet's not working too, too fast. Oh my God, are you upset? We are so used to equating happiness with speed of time. This is the conversation I want you all to have with your spouses. This is the conversation I want you all to have with your children. That why do we equate this speeding up of time with happiness? Now let me give you a reason. We like to increase the speed of time because we don't want to feel alone. Man is scared to confront himself. And slowing down time is like spending time with yourself. Spending time with yourself leads that person who leads a fruitless life. Who has to question himself, what have I done all day besides play video games? When you confront, you can only confront yourself with the real questions of life when time is slowed down. Time slowing down puts us in a state of anxiety because man, modern man, postmodern man's, the man of Akhiru Zaman that is not on the right side is a man who is fearful to confront himself. He can't be alone with himself. Because if he's alone with himself, time will slow down and he won't enjoy and he'll be forced to face himself like the prophet being in the cave. A man is forced to face his self, his demons. What am I doing with life? Rather than jumping from one artificial happiness of speed to another artificial happiness of speed, to another artificial happiness of speed versus the person who can sit alone and do dhikr for two hours, read Quran for two hours, do salah for two hours without feeling that he needs to hurry up. We are in a state of hurry up. We are in a state of being quick. And the Prophet said, Al-Ujlatu minash shaytan Haste is from shaitan. So, my advice to you and to your spouses, to your children, is that what will you do to slow down time? What will you do to slow down your time? What will you do to slow down time and enjoy being with yourself? Enjoy confronting yourself. Enjoy doing fruitful things. The people of the past, the sulaha of the past, the righteous people of the past, they used to wake up in the morning and ask baraka in their time. They wanted to do a hundred things in one day. Now we live our life. I can't wait till the day ends. I can't wait till my work day ends. I can't wait till... Friday. I can't wait till Saturday. I'm living for Friday and Saturday. I'm living for the time that I can finish my job and go to the bar or the pub or wherever, right? I can't wait till I get home and do X, Y. You, you're not living in the moment. You're in a haste for the next thing that's out there a couple hours out. So you're, 
you're in this state of artificial happiness, in a state of haste. When you do shukr, for example, you do thank when you thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, what do you in order to thank Allah you must be in the moment. You must think about what you have now. Where are you where are you in this moment? Do you watch these videos so that time will go faster? Do you watch the shayukh on YouTube so that time will go faster? If you watch the YouTube videos so that time will go faster, then you're creating a disease in your heart. So on the one hand, while it is good that you're watching a video that has to do with the deen, but it is... If it is a distraction from your prayers, which makes you sit down alone. If it is a distraction from your adhkar, if it is a distraction from your Qur'an, if it is a distraction from you reading and finishing the Qur'an every month, then you have a lot of homework to do. We must train our children to be aware of the fact that we equate happiness with speed of time. And this awareness of speed of time and happiness, this connection between the two, this is why children don't like being told what to do. Why? Because they want to do what they want to do and they want to do it quickly. They don't have time for you. When you are in a state of haste, it's all about you. When you are in a state of haste, there is no concern of the people around you. When you are in a state of haste, you cannot be selfless. Because you have to do the next thing that will make you forget about yourself like watch a movie, play a video game, or do your weed, or whatever you got to do. It's all about escaping yourself. It's all about making time somehow bend and go faster. And so, I'm warning myself, and I'm warning my brothers and sisters. What will they do? To make time go slower. What will you do. To make time go slower. You know time goes very slow in the prison. And the Prophet then said. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. A dunya sijnul mu'min. The dunya is a prison for the mu'min. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Told us that when you wake up. Live your day like it's your last day. When you pray like it's pr pray like it's your last prayer. When you would be praying your last prayer, time would be the least of your concerns. You will be focused in your prayer without any concern for time. But nowadays, we pray. And the first thing in our mind is, what speed should I pray at? What speed should I do my salat in? I'm guilty of this too. Because I'm a product of this society. I'm a product of this society that teaches me that speed is good. I like to drive fast too. I don't like wasting time. So you must sit down and try to pray. Try to read Quran. Try to do your adhkar. And try to put yourself in a state where time doesn't matter. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, وَالْعَصْرِ إِنَّ الْإِنسَانَ لَفِي خُسْرِ By the fast running time, by the time that runs away, by the fleeting time, عصر, there are many words in Arabic that mean time. الدهر, الوقت, الساعة, الزمان, so on. Asr is like the clouds that are dark that are just about to rain. 
they are about to fall with rain وَالْعَصْرِ by that time that it is about to drop on you meaning the time is about to cut itself on you that speed of time the fleeting time that time that runs quickly وَالْعَصْرِ إِنَّ الْإِنسَانَ لَفِي خُصْرِ indeed man is in a state of loss إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا except for those who believe because when you believe you will not be of those people who want to just run away from themselves from one distraction to another distraction and you will not be of those people who will equate happiness with speed of time no you will be of those people who want baraka in time who want more time and the quran talks about this time issue in sutul kahf that each person experiences time in a different way. When they woke up and they said, Kam labithum, How long did we sleep? Now obviously, what did they do? They looked at each other's clothes. They looked at how they felt. They looked at how tired and fatigued they were. They were friends of Allah. And they looked at each other. And one of them said, Yawman aw ba'da yawm. Maybe a day or part of a day. That was the experience of time. So this experience of time is an important subject within the Qur'an in general, but it is a specifically important subject within Surah Al-Kahf. And Allah said, Allah knows best kam nabistum how long you stayed sleeping in that state. And that they were sleeping for 300 years. Because there was baraka in their time. They felt it was part of a day or day or part of a day. But it was 309 years. Baraka in time. You, spe you feel a little bit of time went but you accomplished so much. <coughs> because you're not looking for artificial happiness. Because you're not equating speed with happiness. But you're looking to savor every moment. You're looking to benefit in every moment of your life that you have by Allah. For every breath that in this one breath I have, how much I can increase the amount of good I do. Time should not be a concern. Speed of time, which I am guilty and have this disease with me too speed of time time goes i like to do sometimes things that will make time go faster and sometimes it's good sometimes it's not good so we need to look at ourselves am i running away from myself nothing more scary than being alone Nothing more scarier than if time was to stop on us. Nothing more scarier than if I was to stop my time and not care about time and to look inward to myself without the care of time. The Prophet was not caring about time when he was in the cave for 40 days. Time was not a concern in his mind. Every moment, every moment, every breath was spent in mindfulness and awareness. Mindfulness and awareness of every moment. When you're reading Salah, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, are you thinking about what you are saying? Or are you thinking about the speed of your prayer? So this is what I want to leave you with today. I want you and I to consider that do we have this disease in our heart that where we want time to just go faster? And do you read Quran every day? I will just leave it at that for now. Okay. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.